In Gaza, the women and the children are targeted by the Israeli occupation forces in the most brutal way. And we know that so far, 9,000 women have been killed and more than 13,000 children because of the lack of clean water, the lack of food, and the lack of medical capacity. These women who are pregnant or breastfeeding and these newborn children are at high risk of dying from 100% preventable causes. There are 77,000 pregnant women in Gaza. All of them need good food, clean water, follow up by midwives and medical system, and a safe environment to deliver in. And every day there are between 170 and 180 deliveries in Gaza. In addition to that, all the young women who are menstruating do not have hygiene kits, they do not have sanitary pads, and they do not have the clean water you need to maintain a good hygiene. That will result in infections, and many of these infections will cause abdominal infections, in worst case, which again can cause infertility. So what we see is a massive attack, a massive attack on the reproduction capacity of the Palestinian people in Gaza. We have to stop this because the women of Gaza and the children of Gaza today risk massive death from famine, from infections, from dehydration and from common diseases. All of you can do something more. All of us need to do something more because they need our support now.